sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. Welcome to your timeless work, career, and vocation reading. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short. I am a professional witch. I am a professional intuitive. I am the president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998. Very, very close to our 25th year anniversary at the time of this timeless recording, May 1st, Beltane, Mayday, Mayday 2023. Uh, I'm also the author of Words of Grace from a Professional Witch. There is a Kindle version of that book. There is a link in the description box, and if you click it, you can check out uh, the first chunk of it, preview it for free, including the dedication to my Cancerian mother, who I just spoke to maybe a half hour ago, and I love her so much. Uh, we, it, it's always, it's a daily, it's not a daily check-in, but it's close enough. Uh, so very, very happy to be doing this read for the Cancerians. And, you know, there is also the original version of Words of Grace from a professional witch, uh, and that version is over on Patreon, patreon.com. Good transition, a good segue. Uh, some of my subscribers uh, on Patreon uh, uh, have access to the original that was edited by Jill Schweitzer. It's like a Fellini movie compared to what's on Kindle, because, uh, you know, <laughs> that's a you get it if you get it. Uh, 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 there's uh, chakras involved in there. There are chakras involved in this read. Uh, so absolutely, if you want to find the original, it's there. But all of my subscribers on Patreon, I love it so much. I just made the video, the update for May uh, uh, 2023 for the 25th anniversary. Talking about Patreon. Very excited. Uh, we got Seekers, Humans, Heroes, Angels, Witches, Mystics, Immortals. Uh, and God Goddess is the top tier. I did those out of order. I'm a Virgo. Uh, uh, the, all of them, uh, regardless of level of subscription, though, get all the extended readings, the part twos to the part ones, on YouTube, past, present, and future, and there are a lot of them. Uh, they also get the daily check-in, which is me, every single morning, uh, with uh, an unlisted YouTube live stream link just for my patrons uh, that they can chat with me. We talk about the day's astrological weather, the magic applications, the spiritual implications, always a prayer, a blessing, a meditation, a something, something to send us on our way. It is my favorite way to start the day, and it is the best career move I ever made. It allows me to align my work, my career, and my vocation into one movement, and really, uh, if you watch the Patreon video, you'll see how sincere I am, how much I love what's going on over there, and the creative freedom I have free from algorithms and logarithms and all that jazz. So click the link. Check it out. Check out the menu. And if you want, come play to your own Patreon. Because I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lions. But you could just call me Mal. My mom never will. Because <laughs> she's my mom. Mark! <laughs> anyway, uh, if you are new to my channel, we'll do some explanation before we get into divination, because that's only fair. This is really what's called a three level of power. Uh, reading. There's links in the description box from Caroline Mace, where I learned the three levels of power from three symbolic or archetypal lenses that allow you to look at all sorts of different things. Uh, sort of like looking at the white light is a bit much, or you put it through a prism, you get the spectrum. Sort of like that, so there are chakras involved in, and all of that as well. Uh, this is your life purpose, seen through how you survive, first level of power, your, that's your work, your career, more your internal hunger and thirst and your passion, your creativity, creative intuition, survival intuition, creative intuition, uh, but then there is your vocation, which is your spiritual calling, right, your mission at least at the time of this timeless recording, uh, uh, your mystical power, your spiritual power, your visionary intuition, so bringing that all into alignment is all about manifesting your highest destiny, but, what's, but there's alchemy involved, there's work, and that's what these reads are for. They are general reads. Please uh, check what re you know. Check your other signs, and certainly these are perfect for cross watchers in the workplace for collaborating, right? Uh, to help each other heal, though, it, it, it's not to get dirt on them. I don't think you can get that from a general read, but maybe you can. But a little insight, a little empathy uh, to help you heal you, cross watchers. I think uh, that's good all the way around. So. 
Is that enough? And we'll see. Let's see what comes out of my mouth. All this explanation once we shift to divination. Uh, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. And I will do the best that I can. Hi, Melky or See, I am mama here. Because cats can't say dad, dad. <laughs> Hey, buddy, you lay down, lay down, go see PC, PC. Come on, come sit with me. Melky, or he's a tourist. He's going to do whatever he wants anyway. I love you. Go on, go lay down, lay down, go see PC, PC. Good boy. Good boy. What was I saying before the feline intervention <laughs> happened? Uh, both feet on the floor, if you can, focus on your breath, if you will. I will do my best to help you fulfill your life purpose, because the more of us who are doing that, I don't know, it just feels like makes the world a better place, because these are the contracts we signed up for before we came down here and forgot we signed up for them. So let's make the, the unconscious subconscious and the subconscious <laughs> conscious. And, uh, but, and uh, that shift from all that explanation that, you know, I have to do every time, because welcome anybody who's new uh, to the divination, which I was born to do, and is my sacred art for sure these. By the way, I have everything written down here. If I can catch uh, some uh, some hints from other readings here, I'll call them out. Um, but the shift from one to the other happens in the still point. So enough explanation. Breathe. <sighs> still point. <laughs> Literally a shift in brain hemisphere. It's a goal. <laughs> And I'm going to use the Caroline Mesa archetype cards. Uh, please call upon the collective pantheons of the divine. There you are. For the Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video, receiving this reading, what are the archetypes dominant in the eighth chakra for the Cancerian collective and the cross watchers in their life purpose, work, career, and vocation? Now, all the eighth chakras are connected to vocation. That's the eighth chakra zone. Heart, throat, third eye crown in the in the career. Uh, lower three chakras, root sacrum, solar plexus in, in the first level of power work. So what's going on in their work? The dominant eighth chakra, sending down the code, shifting. Uh, what they attract and what they repel in the electrodynamic, electromagnetic dynamics of their chakra field in their work, uh, what is going on in their eighth chakra, the, all of these, the soul power uh, that they have the opportunity to alchemize the shadow to light, lead to gold, pain to peace, toxic to healthy. How about eighth chakra dominant vocation, their life purpose, at least uh, the patterns, the lessons, the alchemy, the healing, and the transformation available. Okay, wow, in this timeless work, career, vocation, read these are in um, the title, obviously, uh, and so you knew them before I did, oddly enough, in, the, in your timeline, whatever you want to call it, and I could see how somebody uh, might not want to click on this, because uh, we lay them down one, two, three, but we read them three, two, one, from the crown, uh, the eighth chakra down, you got the beggar archetype in your vocation, but it's a good place to have it, and we'll get there. You've got the rescuer, so this is your vocation. The rescue archetype is a healing family archetype, and the teacher, my mom is a teacher, uh, <laughs> a nursery school teacher to begin with. She's, te she's teaching classes right now, I believe, where she is, upstate New York. Uh, so a wisdom family archetype. So don't freak about the beggar, but I'm going to give you big props, big, big, big credit for clicking on this and seeing that in the title. So let's talk about it. All archetypes are neutral. Here's the point, right? Good or evil, right? It's about where are you on the scale from lead to gold, shadow to light, pain to peace. I prefer the language of spiritual alchemy, which says lead is the fear, is the insulator, you know, is the toxic. Uh, gold is the light, the healing, the truth, all of that, the love. Uh, but three atoms symbolically in between those two on the periodic table that cannot be created or destroyed, only released, surrendered, transformed, or alchemized. So let's work this one down. Eighth chakra. Now this is about your spiritual and mystical power. The shadow attribute, dependence on others to the exclusion of effort. So I would say in a spiritual practice, that would be, well, okay, I surrender it. And then doing nothing, right? Not acting on the inspiration, the guidance, and the grace we come. And by the way, that's a stage of learning and development, you know? So it's, it's not to shame yourself or beat yourself up, because we, we all do it. 
Don't do it. Uh, you do it. I just did. I'm ready to do it again. <laughs> oh, Mel Brooks. The light attribute, the gold you're shooting for here, confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority, and hear that word, authority, of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. Self-esteem is not a noun, it is a verb. You're always subconsciously estimating, what's this going on? How am I doing? Lower three chakras, big time. Uh, but, uh, you know, look at your prayers. Petitionary prayer is, you could say, a form of begging, but it's begging to the divine. I surrender my will to the divine before every reading several times a day. Look what I do for a living, all right? You know, I have to stay clear, because if you stay clear, you know I gotta get clear. That has a whole other different meaning and a whole other different context. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we, to the rescuer. Now, you can have an archetype of reason, a season, or a lifetime. You can have it in specific areas of your life. Like, I I, I, I have the rescuer comes and goes, usually for black cats. Why? So I have three boys, three black cat boys that I love. They find me, honestly. They rescue me right back. Uh, but the shadow side of this is a nightmare, as they all are. Assumes that the rescued will reciprocate. <laughs> Never assume. Don't make me go there. Bad news bears. Uh, keeps the rescued one needy. We got a little Baron Munchausen syndrome going on there in the lead. The adventures of Baron Munchausen. Uh, the light attribute provides strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation of reward. The rescuer. Do you know how many animal rescuers and animal uh, advocates I have in my life? My mom, <laughs> among many. So, you know, rescuing from the heart with no expectation of return, that's a process of mastery from lead to gold. That's unconditional love. Uh, let's look what's going on in your work. The teacher. Now, I, you can have an archetype of reason, a season, or a lifetime. Because my mother was a teacher. I was born to a teacher. I have had teacher archetype since birth. Right? And it's what I do. I just said to somebody yesterday, you could drop me down and, you know, working at McDonald's. I would be like an instructor within a week. I'd be showing them how to make them fries. But the shadow attribute, get ready to pink, pink Floyd the wall yourself. Uh, manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills, particularly by example. I've, I've, ha I've had amazing teachers of gold. I've had horrendous teachers in lead and everywhere in between. School teachers, spiritual teachers, that's why I keep mine at a distance. I'm like, I love Caroline Mace. Just, just an example, her and Chrissy Hines are the only two people on planet Earth that really intimidate me, right? <laughs> Caroline Mace, if you know, you know. I know she's a sweetheart now, but still, the respect that I have for her. She has the queen archetype big time. I love her. I just want to like, yes, I just don't want to work for them anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, but, but that power uh, of the teacher in its light is so magnificent. Ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. So it is communicative. We're looking very throat chakra, but also to teach by example, right? In the physical world. Sometimes you can't, in your work, sit your boss down and explain to them about archetypes and chakras and higher power. You know, it's probably not appropriate for the work situation. Uh, but again, Again, a general read. So, well, we got three of those down. We're going to look at the next four chakras. Heart, third, third, eye, crown. The internal, the feminine, daughters of the moon, tarot. Uh, face down, all three of them. Now, this one, just like the, the eighth chakras are really third level of power, dominant. These, all three of them, are uh, heart, third, third, eye, crown. This one is definitely the middle, the middle lane, your creative intuition. Please take a nice deep breath. Because they're all one thing. <laughs> they're all your life purpose. <sighs> Still point. Oh, that feels good. As I call upon my beloved goddesses of water. The sign of cancer. Powers of the West. Please, my beloved goddesses of cardinal water. Three cards face down in clarity. Heart, third, third eye crown dynamic for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and Crosswatcher. Uh, watching this video, who are drawn to this 
reading. What does that mean? To be aware of, to alchemize, the shadow to light, the lead to gold, the pain to peace, the toxic to healthy. Uh, the poverty to prosperity, right? The, the perdition to paradise. Uh, uh, the, the lead to gold uh, in this timeless work career vocation. In their work, they got the teacher. That's heart, th third eye crown. In uh, their work, they've got the rest. Uh, their, so work, career, Part third, third crown dominant. They got the rescuer, healing family archetype, and in their vocation, the beggar archetype. Let's see. I've seen that before in one of these previous readings. I don't. I don't think it was with. Let me just check. Teacher, rescuer, beggar. Nope. <laughs> no. Original. I love it. Okay. So the beggar archetype in the eighth. The Ace of Pentacles on the inner says that, right, it's like a coin, right, that it's a nugget of wisdom, a golden nugget of wisdom, like a healthy egg corn that you could plant and over time create an entire tree that will give forth Millions of egg corns in its lifespan, right? But when it's internal, it's a piece of wisdom. It's a nugget. It's something that you're learning spiritually right now. Whatever you call your internal path could psychologically is really second level of power, heart, third, third eye crown. But this is the mystical part of it. So there's something, a center point. The, um, it is heart, third, third eye crown. So it could be the wisdom of the heart. It could be the wisdom of choices. Like you have this spit, swallow, or chew, throat chakra, right? Willpower. You can chew on it, right? You don't have to make the choice right now, and you don't have to repress the choice. You can chew on it, but that's your free will. So, we'll get back to that. The Rescuer with the Eight of Blades, uh, which is uh, the Eight of Swords in writer weight based traditional tarot, is the goddess Chokhmah, uh, a, a word, one of the spheres of the Kabbalistic tree of life. I believe it's in the third eye chakra. I learned that from Carolyn Mace, Anatomy of the Spirit. I I love some Mace in my face. Well, you know, not, not, not the, that kind of spelled differently, M-Y-S-S, but she's a PhD. So imagine being in the center, the middle of the Sahara Desert, right? <laughs> Gigantic, yeah. Everywhere you look, it's exactly the same, right? Uh, she's a, a goddess of desert winds. Those eight uh, blades are all the different choices, but the word written on here is decisions. So decisions are life-changing, okay? So this might be something very third eye, but I also would say throat, right? Because of how you express this, what you say about this, if you talk about this to anyone, but it is also the seeing of things differently. Um, certainly the Eight of Swords in uh, traditional Rider weight and elsewhere. Not that pretty. Blindfolded and bound, usually a little brutal. And uh, this is maybe seeing all of your options and that you have more choices than you realize. But in terms of the rescuer, regardless of what you chew on here, and I think your spiritual seed there, the Ace of Pentacles, in your vocation gives you something to chew on here and to think about and to process on the inside to see that you have many more options than you may realize which can sometimes make us a little blindfolded and bound because then you know the nine is can be a little over thinky thinky but then you complete it at the ten interesting can you do this with no expectation of reward hard i know particularly in career, when your heart and your passion and all of that is in it. Uh, but this is good. This is really, really good. Each reading usually has one that feels like leverage. Like, start there, work on that, and because it's holographic, shifts it. So, um, the teacher, three cups on the inner. So that is... That's just, I can feel it, heart chakra. It is emotional bonding, right? Is it a celebration card? Sure, but certainly in terms of ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom, there is a heart engagement here. Three, threes numerologically are sta stable foundations. A four-legged chair will wobble, a three-legged stool will not. That's why tripods for cameras, like I'm looking at one right in front of me, right? I don't have to worry about the wibble wobble on that. Uh, unless a cat head bonks it, which has never happened. 
<laughs> now I would have to redo that video, hopefully not to get a whole new camera. But my boys are good, because I'm a good cat mama. And they love me, and I love them, right? So, uh, you know, the teacher, to, to teach from the heart, right? To flow this up feels really, really good. Let's look at the lower three chakras, the masculine, the yang. You, from the inside, looking out at people, places, and things, including corporations and industries, right? Or relationships in the physical world, including your relationship to yourself in the solar plexus. Uh, uh, right, self-esteem was mentioned here. That is definitely the verb of self-esteem. The power of self-esteem is definitely solar plexus. No one else can do that uh, but you. Uh, but this could also be you from the outside uh, looking in, right? Like a mirror. It's only you can know that in a general read. I'll see how specific we can get. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call upon my gods of water, sign of cancer, powers of the west, please, beloved gods of cardinal water. Three cards in clarity for the Cancerian Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and Crosswatcher. Face down. Uh, work, career, vocation. We're going to read them. Vocation, career, work. In their work, they've got the teacher in the A3, a cups on the inner. Ooh. Ooh. So, yeah, there's probably a choice here to be made in, in work. Uh, what's going on? They need to be aware of. Uh, lower three chakra dynamic. And with their work... Rescuer in the eighth, eight of blades, Chokma, look that up. This spelling, H O K H M A, there are other spellings. Please, uh, 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 one card in clarity. What's going on? Uh, lower three chakra dynamic in their career and in their vocation, the beggar, which there have been beggars on this planet forever. It is an ancient, ancient, ancient archetype. And you never know a beggar in disguise what they might actually be, right? Like angels and stuff like that. So uh, please, with that Ace of Pentacles, which feels solid and feels strong, it feels fertile, but what are they going to do with it? Lower three chakra dynamic, please. For the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and the Timeless, Aware, Career, Vocation, Aried. Okay, you got one uh, major arcana, but guess what? You've also got a double whammy and another choice card. Let's start at the top. The Beggar, Ace of Pentacles, uh, uh, on the inner Eight of Swords. There's your double whammy on the outer. So, you know, this is kind of caught between a rock and a hard place mentally. You don't want to get caught in between the Furies and Apollo, <laughs> the tarot, right? Uh, and of course, a decision, but one that you might be feeling, I don't want to say out of stalemate with, but really stuck uh, there mentally. Yes, that can be. Maybe you're dealing with a situation where you have to go into and uh, like into it. The beggar is a hard archetype. It's a wild card, I believe. So we show up in any way, shape, or form. In other words, it's not always about money, right? But if this is about you begging to the divine, I mean, that is an act of surrender. Look, throat chakra. According to Caroline Mace, the sacred every chakra has a sacred truth. The third chakra is surrender your will to the divine. It's the right of confession, right? So you don't have to do that to everybody, right? You can say, I don't know what to do. Help, show me. And that is, yes, a form of prayer. Um, but in terms of your life, I mean, the potential here for mystical spiritual power is strong. But then let's move down, move down uh, into the next level there, the rescuer with Hulkma, Eight of Blades, Two of Swords on the Outer, there is a choice in your career, and it feels like pretty much a yes or no choice, now I'm going to say, pay attention to your second chakra. Your second chakra in any given moment, un unfortunately it doesn't work predictively. God, I wish it did. It just gives, can, can give you that on the timeline that you're in. Jump a timeline, it's different later, right? Uh, yes or no, it'll go... <laughs> it grunts. It, it, it's survival intuition, so we'll look at that there, particularly with what we have going on there. There's your major arcana card. So you might be gathering information. 
right, sure, a choice that needs to be made, but it's trying to, you know, don't crack up, bend your brain, see both sides, throw off your mental chains, woo-hoo-hoo. I think the woo-hoo-hoo is very important. Ascended Master Howard Jones uh, at least put it that way. So uh, how you want to deal with this, if you want to rescue, uh, or is this something that you can do, releasing expectations. Since expectations are mostly mental and they are the seeds of disappointment, uh, this could be that. This could be you really trying to choose this. It's like, can I do this? with an open and loving heart? Can I do this with no expectation of reward? It's hard. It's hard in a career to do that. And there are other cards that could have said, like, charity work. Like, that does not necessarily feel that way. Could be, though. Well, you do you. Teacher in the eighth. Three cups on the inner. Wheel of Fortune. You got the fates. You got the fates. The three sisters. Man, this is destined. This is part of your sacred contract. I mean, everything is, but this is really saying the wheel is turning. It's time to move forward. It's time to do this. And you have a lot to teach. Teach by example. Come from your heart in that stable, emotional, bonding way here. Because the more loving you can be on the ground, lower three chakras, when it's a major arcana card, you only got the one, so I didn't say it before. When I do a read like this, if it's a, a chakric zone, in this case, uh, first level of power, it's all three of those chakras. So it would have been that if there were any major arcana cards in the last three, and you get it for the insides as well, the insides, the in. Uh, so look, there is something faded here, but the difference between fate and destiny. Fate you cannot change. Destiny happens when you take the hero's journey and do the alchemy. It's lead and gold, fear and love. And it speaks of the hero's journey here. But with the teacher archetype, whether you are a teacher, I know so many teachers, oh my god, spiritual, like, classroom, you know, across, uh, friends in academia and professorships and shit, right? Uh, and it's such a crazy time. And uh, believe me, I'm a confessor to a lot of them uh, to help them through. So I could absolutely see that as a literal teacher, but remember that word teacher could also be instructor, right? As some people teach they don't even realize they're teaching. Um, the, but particularly to teach by example is key. Um, and I think that beggar in the eighth chakra for your, for your vocation is going to give you that authority of humility to know that you do not know, but you are willing to be shown. It's the first and last grace I talk about in my book, Words of Grace Saves My Life Every Day. And keeps me from being an asshole, to be totally honest, because I can't take it too seriously if I know that I don't know. And it is actually the shield against humiliation. Humility, they're not the same thing. Carolyn Mace, thank you, wherever you are. Uh, so that nugget of wisdom inside of you, right? I get it. You're, you're sort of in a mental thing, both on the outer and your spiritual somehow, and in, in your your inner, in, in your career, so your vocation. And your uh, and uh, and your career, I would think though certainly then that your leverage might be over here in your work, teacher in the A, three cups on the inner, because that's the love, and just saying okay, it's not a surrender card. It's saying all right, let's do this alchemy. It's time, and it's faded, but it could be destined if you do you alchemize. So, you get three more cards to help with that alchemy. Oh, there's always a wild card uh, uh, when I do these, or at least that's something I started doing recently. Uh, each sign I choose intuitively, I ask, well, okay, what's the wild deck for the wild card? And the one that they chose, that they gave me, I was like, really? Uh, the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Uh, I really thought it would have been something other than that, like the Kuan Yin Oracle, or, you know, the Whispers of Love Oracle, something like that. Uh, so we'll get to that in a minute, but before that, uh, we are going to work with uh, Angela Hartfield's uh, Whispers of Lord Ganesha, the Hindu god of success, prosperity remover of obstacles, almost, I can't, I've never seen any other way than with the head of an elephant, and I love him, and I've cultivated a relationship with Ganesha 
Ever since I started working with the Ashaya monks 25 years ago, when I started the company, even before I started the company. So just one of these, I'm going to place it under the work there, and then we'll put your magical spell card under career. And of course, we're going to end with a Matcon healing mantra for under vocation, and you take that as you will. I just started doing it that way. Used to have three healing mantra cards, too much. This is going to be much more succinct, my lady, than Please take a nice deep breath. Because I love Lord Ganesh. Still point. As I call to the beloved Lord Ganesh, God of success, prosperity, and remover of obstacles, please, beloved one, what is your guidance, your grace, your wisdom? your oracle message to help the Cancerians and the Crosswatchers alchemize their shadow to light, their lead to gold, their pain to peace, their poverty to prosperity, their confusion to clarity, uh, their cowardice to courage, uh, their, their lead to gold, teacher in the eighth, rescuer, the, right, the teacher in their work, rescuer, in their career, beggar in their vocation, please, beloved one. What is your guidance, your grace, your wisdom, and your message for them in this timeless work, career, vocation? Read. Capacity to love. Capacity to love. Card number 34. Cardinal water, creative water, amniotic fluid the mother of the zodiac cancer card number 34 let's just go there shall we oh let's i do go on but hey i'm the president of the company and, and, and i have one employee and i really work for them <laughs> shall we uh, card number 34, capacity to love. It takes courage to open up and heal areas of deep vulnerability. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, Cancerians, I grew up with a Cancerian mother, and you're all sweet and sensitive on the inside, but you got them their claws <laughs> in that shell, right? Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Each human individual is created with a profound longing to feel loved. Out of this need for love, you may exaggerate and parade your fascinating qualities while masking your weaknesses or fears. If you are not committed to looking at your root issues, you will feel disconnected from your true self. Take a moment to look at how are what what? Take a moment to look at how you are handling yourself. Are you being open and honest? Are you withdrawing from a situation? Are you masking a problem with some sort of avoidance tactic, such as shopping, drinking, or eating excessively? Are you holding grudges? Woo! Uh, when your heart is open, you will find that your actions tend to match your words. You rarely get offended. You are emotionally available. When your heart is open, you truly take responsibility for who you are and what your beliefs are. You love yourself more completely. Conflict resolves more easily. And you have a desire to live in harmony with others. Ganesha's trunk represents the ability to consider how you are perceiving the situation which is significant in your spiritual growth. An elephant's trunk is an important appendage, or appendage, thank you, Bette Midler, uh, that is used in its day-to-day -day functioning. It serves to remove trees and other large obstacles, as well as for fiddly tasks, such as breaking open fruits to eat. An elephant has the capacity to handle a range of tasks, from minute ones to those requiring great strength. In this way, Ganesha's trunk is an emblem of his great intelligence and his extraordinary capacity for love. Rely on your own vast array of abilities to tackle your problem and know that Ganesha is supporting you in this process. Your capacity to love. Love is divine power, sacred truth of the heart chakra. And it is. That's why I spent all, all my day in meditation. No, 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 no. They would never let me get away with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. But to touch into that heart. I'm telling you, go look at the Patreon video. You'll see the love in my, my eyes. You'll feel it coming out of me. Just as an example. 
even when I talk about my mom, whatever. All right, so removing obstacles with your capacity to love. Let's see what your magical spell card is. Now, I to read from the bookie book from this deck, it would take a while. It's really info dense, and I'm into it. It's a lot of a lot of good info in the bookie book for the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, because I love cider. I am that way. Uh, uh, usually, the element of fire that we use for the five card draws. So let's. I have no idea what this is going to be, obviously, but. Let's see how it relates. We're going to call upon the ancestors. Please take a nice deep breath. Nose whistle alert. Still point. All right. So using the magical spell cards, I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism. For the Cancerian Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, and Crosswatchers watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the spell fragment? To help them refine and clarify their what and their why, their fire, their earth, their air, their water, their spirit, to cast the spell, to set the intention, to plant the seed, oh dear, there we go, of the Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> a base of Pentacles. Woo! Within, as a result of their interaction, their alchemizing of uh, the beggar and the eighth. That totally makes sense there with the eight of swords on the outer. All oh, this makes total sense. All right, got it. Please, one card in clarity in this work, career, vocation, read. What do you got for the Cancerians and this cross watchers? Harvest. <laughs> yes, which work? <laughs> Oh, I love what I do for a living as the waves of the ocean are infinite. As the trees in the forests grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all and forgive the grandiosity of that, but that just really clicks into place. It really does. I mean, whether this is in your work career and vocation, yes, it could be literal. It could totally be about, you know, how you survive in the world, but this is probably hitting all of it. So the seed that you plant spiritually, regardless of what's going on with the Eight of Swords, but remember, no tarot card is either 100% lead or 100% gold 24-7-365. That's a lot of math. Uh, ow. Uh, but certainly, uh, to really take the time, if you're stuck in a rock, between a rock, a rock and a hard place uh, mentally here, maybe dealing with a corporation, a community of people, a project or whatever, at least in the mental part of it, then I feel like that harvest really does speak of, uh, of that uh, one of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. Go to the gods, is what I'm going to say. I don't know. I don't know. Because it's all about your capacity to love to remove the obstacles here. Work. That con healing mantra. Used to have three of them for these reads. Not even I could keep up. I write down all the mantras from my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. To me, they encapsulate the whole read, so I don't have to remember every single card. Uh, so let's see what hits the table. I'm going to read it from the bookie book, uh, and this will help heal. Duh. Please take a nice deep breath. <laughs> Still point. There we go. As I call to the beloved ascended masters of life purpose through the archetypal lenses, the three levels of power of work, career, and vocation. Please, beloved ones, one card in clarity for the Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs of cross watchers watching this video, receiving this, reading the perfect healing mantra to help them alchemize the shadow light, lead to gold, paint to peace, toxic to healthy, poverty to Poverty to, to prosperity. But there's another one in there. What is this one for the Cancerians, right? Grief to glory, right? Confusion to clarity, led to gold with teacher, right? In, a, in this teacher, rescuer, beggar, but really they're the beggar, rescuer, teacher. <laughs> Reason, season, or lifetime was the perfect healing mantra laid on the table to help them manifest their life purpose for the well-being of all, for all of life in this timeless work, career, vocation read. Opening my mind, I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas.
deck drop. Oh yeah, well that explains all the swords. Oh my god, you got a lot of swords. Uh, opening my mind, and the key word there is allow. I allow myself, and nobody has to know you're doing this, right? Nobody needs to know what goes on your cancer, and they probably won't anyway unless you outright tell them. Um, but opening the mind, very third eye, right? So definitely we could see that would really hit the center lane here in terms of your career. Because if, if you're in the middle of a desert, <laughs> right, it's like, I'm going to open my mind. I'm going to allow myself to see this from a higher place. And what, you think your capacity to love not some, isn't involved in that? That's how you get into the higher mind. By aligning the heart, the third eye, and crown, it is the, the power of divine love in the heart that heals and alchemizes it so that you can see things from a higher POV, E-I, E-I-O. So let's put it together. <laughs> let's put it together. Let me read you the thing. Because this feels uh, very... Well, they're all holographic readings, but I think this will make my point. I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. When your mind opens, you're no longer limited by fearful beliefs or at odds with your own healing journey. And that can be that wheel of fortune, the, the, the fate uh, to destiny there. With an open mind, you are aware of a bigger cosmic picture where, uh, where your personal life ushers in your highest potential by uplifting the consciousness of humanity. Yeah. Teaching by example, that three of cups, that emotional bonding and your capacity to love, it's, it's very that. As your mind opens, life is not just centered around your personal gains and losses, but shining your light for the well-being of all, wherever you happen to be. In meditation, in herbinage, hermit crab, right? Out, you know, teaching in the world, oh, Miss Crabtree, I've got something heavy on my heart. Uh, this mantra is ideal. Only some of you are going to get that, and you love me for it. Uh, this mantra is ideal for ending the inner negotiation with the ego, because the ego will say, yeah, but in order to survive, you're going to do this and this and this, So, but if you follow your dream, you're blah, 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 blah. if you do, mm, it's what it does, the ego is not the enemy. It is the most dormant aspect of the spirit that will be integrated by the choices of your personality, by listening to the intuition, the guidance, the grace of the soul empowered by your higher self. That's my way of doing it, at least. Uh, unraveling self-sabotage, womp womp, and controlling, uh, and confronting the inevitability of loss. I've been saying to a lot of my friends and clients, you think you're gonna stay in this body forever? Who does? Well, Nosferatu, you know, no thanks. I mean, I like a hickey, but that's a bit too far, right? It's a bit too far. <laughs> I love my spirit guides. Thank you, Carrie Fisher. I freaking love you. Um, so, obviously, the element of air here for a water sign. You condense air, you get water. You think about something enough, you'll have a feeling about it. But allowing yourself to feel what you feel without acting on it, right? Going into your spiritual practice, whatever it may be, just to open the mind and see it differently, that evaporates the, that water back into air, that emotion back into thought. And then choose yet again. There's a course of miracles, but you do you. Now let's put this together in a blessimation, combination of a blessing and a summation. And uh, yeah, then after that, well, the reading will be over at that point. But I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna chat in a little bit. Uh, 25 years in business with drawing the circle. I know it's a timeless read. People have been watching this 10,000 years from now. But I got something to say. <laughs> and I was raised by a Cancerian mother, so you know I'm gonna say it. Um, so, please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the beloved Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers who are watching this video and are drawn to this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need in their vocation, that they confront empowerment at the level of physical survival and awaken the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, 
and self-esteem in their lives because there is a nugget of truth in there. There is some piece of wisdom that they have the free will to do what they want to do with it, but they might be at a stalemate, stuck between a rock and a hard place mentally uh, speaking there, uh, perhaps even a little uh, kerfuffled, uh, blindfolded and bound. So that alchemy into that mystical power would certainly then lead to what may they be blessed uh, with in their career that they can provide strength and support to others in crisis, acting out of love with no expectation of reward, because that is going to help open the heart. That is going to make the decision way more emotionally intuitive for for cardinal water sign, heart third, third eye crown for sure, but they still have time to gather information on this. There's still this yes or no, fast or slow, make it easy for them to decide, I just go, go to us. Uh, and so that in their work that they can teach by example, right, with an ability to uh, communicate knowledge, experience, skill, and wisdom with this bonding of the heart maybe not just to one person. This could just be that emotional flow, that happiness, that joy at doing what they love because it's time. It's a divine timing thing. Anything that has happened in the past had to get you here. Couldn't happen any other way. Considering the infinite number of quantum timelines from every freaking choice and decision that we make, we end up where we end up. And thank you, Lord Ganesh, for helping them to remove the obstacles with their capacity to love. And thank you, beloved ancestors, for helping them come to their harvest. And thank you, beloved ascended masters of work, career, vocation. Help them open their mind. Help them allow themselves to see beyond their beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. Oh, that's a different one. Allow them to see beyond their beliefs and ideas. That's the other ones for the third eye, which is still applicable. Because there's always a higher truth. There's always a higher way of seeing things, really. The higher self experiences all of our past lives simultaneously. See it from that POV. It sort of helps bring things into alignment. And may the entire Cancerian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers be blessed with all that they need to fulfill their life purpose, to heal, to grow, to learn, to evolve, the shadow of the light, the lead to gold, the pain to be toxic to healthy, making this world a better place because they can, for the well-being of all, and with harm to none. Oh, as we will it. So let it be done. So motivated. So it is. That was good. That felt good. The capacity to love really turned to did the party, did it not? If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment, notification bell, all of those things at this point, all they're doing for joining the circle is to help other Cancerians and cross watchers find the reading because on Patreon we have no algorithms. We have no logarithms. You sign up for a level of subscription. You get everything on that level of subscription as far as I'm concerned since the moment I started <laughs> Patreon to the present moment and above. The daily check-ins, the extended read, of level of subscription at the time of this recording, but that's why uh, there is the new video that uh, I made, which is probably in the description box of this series starting now. Yay! And uh, a lot of good things coming for Drawing the Circle. So, more importantly than all of that, playing on Patreon, etc. Uh, my prices are changing. Uh, I don't know if that video is out is out yet, but I'm making a new one for the 25th anniversary. So if you want to book me for a read, check out the new or the old video, depending on the, where I am at that at the time of this recording. I'll think I'll have it done by then. <laughs> Otherwise, wishing you the very best and the very best, my beloved crab cakes. Just go for it here, but take the time. Go in, go up, because your harvest is waiting. Just gotta you know, be willing to see beyond beliefs, ideas, or at least allow yourself to. I love you. Hang in there. Create, 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 you cardinal water crab cakes, you. Heal, hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.